Hey, hello, IoT magicians. So welcome again in today's another very interesting demo. So here today I am going to show you how we can generate a QR code using ESP8266. Yes, magicians, many of you are asking me and you are having trouble to generate a QR code using ESP8266, not in the Q OLED display or TFT display or any kind of display. We want to generate a QR code as an image file, as an image file. Yes. So uh, today I will show you a done demo where we can generate a QR code image file dot PNG file when I press this button. So this is just a demo. If you need this detailed explanation or how do we do that, for that, I will set up a live session soon on this and I will explain this in detail. But if you know this before that, then you can ask me in my WhatsApp group or in my Facebook group, or you can ask directly in the comment section of this video. So, okay, magicians, let's show how does this work and how easily we can generate a QR code image using our ESP8266. I have a, attached a push button over here as you are seeing. As soon as I will press this button, this ESP will generate QR code based on some information that I have provided that we will provide to our ESP, like the item name, item code, item price, item weight. So for all these information, it will generate a QR code. Similarly, you can use any of the information like your sensor readings or your student information or whatever information you want. For that, you can generate a QR code. So, okay, let's see magicians, how does this work? So for that, let me first open uh, the serial monitor. So here is the serial monitor you are seeing. And I will restart the uh, ESP by clicking on the reset button. So I have pressed the reset button and now it is connecting to Wi-Fi. And here you are seeing that I have got a, a Wi-Fi 190 address IP address as this. So I will copy this IP address. This IP address will be useful because our ESP is now giving us a web page or serving a web page at this IP. So I will, I will copy this IP address and I will just minimize this. I will also minimize this ESP screen and let me open a browser where we will open our IP address given by this ESP. So I will go here. So now you are seeing that ESP has given us a web page and let me maximize it. So here you are seeing some information will be shown at the top. IMH or QR code data, which will come from ESP as soon as we will press the button. And here, where you are seeing the IMH logo, instead of this logo, it will be changed or it will be replaced by the QR code that will be generated on the fly. So let me minimize it and let me show you how does this work. So as soon as I will push this button, this ESP will send the item information like item name, item weight, item price to our uh, page and it will generate the QR code and it will show on our page uh, left hand side. So let me push this button so I'm pressing it. As soon as I press this magicians, you can see that my item code number four item price is 47.90 INR and the item weight is 5.20 grams for that information below QR code has been generated. And if you want to save this easily, you can save this right click and then you can save this as image and then just click save. So this way you can easily save your QR code. So let me open this QR code. So here the QR code, which has been produced by ESP for the information uh, item code four, item price this and item weight corresponding to this. So this is just a random data which I have taken, but you can take any information, sensor data, or you can use student information or whatever data for which you want to generate the QR code. So first, now let me show you whether this QR code has the same data or whatever you are seeing on the screen. For that, I need to open the QR code reader that I will also show you that how does this look like in the QR code. So for that, let me open let me show you my mobile screen first. So I am trying to show you my mobile screen. Okay. So I am opening my mobile screen. So soon you will see my mobile screen in front of you. Okay. Great. 
So now you can see my mobile screen here easily. So here is the, my mobile screen on the right side. On, on the left side, you are seeing the QR code. Let me open my QR reader. So you are see that you can see that I have a QR scanner code. So QR scanner app. So I will open the app and I will simply scan the app and see what is there in the QR scanner. Yes, you are seeing that on right hand side on my mobile screen, you can see item code is four, item price is 47.90 INR and item weight is 5.20 grams. And the same information which you see on the browser left hand side for the QR code. So it means the QR scanner has successfully read the information which you see over here. So let me show you one more time. So I will press here one more time and we'll generate another new QR code. Let's see what it comes. So I will press this. So you are seeing that this time a new QR code has been generated with item code one, item price is 77.60, item weight is 2.70 grams. And let me pull out my mobile screen and let's see what I see here. So again, I have the QR scanner here. Let me go here and scan this. So as soon as I scan this, I can see the scanner has read as item code one, item price is 77.60 INR, and item weight is 2.70 grams, which is same as you see on the browser left hand side, uh, which is corresponding to our QR code. So if you want to save it again, you will right click and just do a save image as, and easily you can save this a PNG file like this. And if you want to open it, you can easily open it from here. So here you are seeing that, uh, my QR code has been generated. So magicians, that's all uh, for this demo. Soon I will set up a detailed session to explain how do we do that. But before that, if you want to use it, or if you need this for any of your project where you want to generate a QR code based on some information using ESP8266, that also in the form of an image file, then definitely you can ask me in the comment section or ask me in my WhatsApp group or in my Facebook group there, I can help you and provide you the details on this. So till then magicians, uh, I, uh, I uh, till for the time I set up a live session, do take care of yourself, take care of yourself and thank you so much.